The midwife provides evidence that Megan is not the biological mother of Archie and Lilibet. Harry's reality was shattered. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. Despite all the events that have occurred, uncovering the hidden truth about Harry and Meghan's two unseen children remains a challenging task. We have presented a substantial amount of evidence indicating that Archie and Lilibet are not genuine. Despite the relentless efforts of Meghan and Harry to present us with images of their twins in their Netflix series, we remain skeptical. I am not the only one experiencing this sentiment. Today, we have been presented with compelling evidence from a reliable source validating this claim. According to the informant, both my spouse and I possess professional certifications in the medical field. Specifically, I am trained as a qualified midwife, while my partner is a doctor specialized in anesthesiology with expertise in administering epidural anesthesia. This statement serves to provide insight into our history to anyone interested. We are skeptical about Meghan Markle's claimed childbirth due to the following reasons. During the course of her labor, she received pain medication to alleviate her discomfort. Harry confirmed this information in his publication, Spare. Harry's words further confirmed what she had been given. The substance referred to as Entinox, widely recognized as laughing gas, was an inhalant commonly used. Harry confesses to having indulged in a few puffs of it personally. This was improved with the administration of oral or injectable pain relief and relaxant medications. Eventually, the doctor arrives to provide the necessary epidural. Once this function is activated, it immobilizes all movement below the waist, which includes the legs. It is possible that it was replenished multiple times. The duration of labor remains unknown. The effect of the epidural can be sustained for several hours. According to this source, if the book tells the truth, it is highly implausible for any woman to remain standing. Disregard the idea of walking only two hours later as it has been suggested. She exited the medical facility on foot. We are aware that this is not true. Given their capability to lie on such a significant scale, it is highly plausible that they would fabricate the entire pregnancy, as has been previously argued by numerous individuals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this simply reinforces our prior knowledge. I strongly believe that Meghan never experienced pregnancy. I encourage the media to professionally address and highlight the fact that Meghan Markle wore a fake moon bump throughout her pregnancy. To put it differently, Meghan is currently the subject of laughter due to her foolishness, which can be attributed to the eccentricity of both individuals. This falsehood is not limited to just one instance in which Meghan and Harry have been exposed. To put it cleverly, Meghan has deceitfully fabricated details about her ancestry. She fabricates minor details about her potential involvement in certain matters. There have been numerous instances in which her accounts of events turned out to be inaccurate. When you're comfortable with deceit over trivial matters, it becomes increasingly plausible that someone would also be dishonest about more significant matters. She has been given the nickname Princess Pinocchio for a compelling purpose. She has significant credibility problems. On the other hand, I'm uncertain regarding the surrogacy hypotheses. I am unsure. I am uncertain about the current situation. There appears to be a somewhat dubious aspect to it. Although I have examined all the images, I remain unconvinced in either direction. I am still perplexed by the reason behind something. Why on earth did Macon and Harry believe that fabricating the entire birth story of these children or concealing the fact that they were born through surrogacy, if that is indeed the case, would be advantageous for them? It's illogical considering that Harry and the unseen kids are nowhere near the throne. It would be senseless for them to opt for surrogacy and attempt to conceal it since there is no chance of the monarchy passing through Harry or his direct descendants. I must say, 
there is an abundance of discussion points regarding the dishonesty exhibited by Meghan and Harry. I am concerned that the surrogacy conspiracy theory might be intentionally used as a diversionary tactic. I opt to remain attentive to what I firmly believe to be true, which is that both individuals are a deceitful and manipulative pair, exhibiting hypocritical behavior. If those children actually exist, they will face significant challenges without the added burden of constant speculation about their origins, supported only by potentially deceptive camera angles. Furthermore, Meghan and Harry lack proficiency in deception when it comes to the topic of surrogacy. I have my doubts about the ability of both of them to successfully accomplish this. They were able to successfully conceal the fact that they used a surrogate to have children not just once, but twice. I'm skeptical about their ability to pull it off. Despite my strong dislike for these individuals and the undeniable value of a credible negative story about them, one cannot help but imagine that someone would have immediately sold this sensational story to the media. Assuming the allegations hold true, let's consider the possibility that the children were indeed born through a surrogate. Ultimately, does it really matter? The answer is yes, as they will forever be excluded from the responsibilities of the active royal household. Due to the current trajectory of their parents, it seems highly unlikely that they will ever have the opportunity to become acquainted with their father's relatives. It is certain that Harry and Meghan assert their parental rights over those children. Regardless of their origins, if they are genuine, they are referred to as Mountbatten Windsors. They are also children. In my honest view, I believe that children should be protected and not targeted. Upon initially being introduced to this theory, I found it incredulous. I pondered the rationale behind someone's actions and questioned how they could escape consequences. I couldn't comprehend it. Megan is still within a suitable age range to have children. She is slightly beyond the appropriate age range, although still within an acceptable range. However, as time has gone on, my curiosity has grown. I speculate that their history of deceit might be the underlying cause. It appears that they find it more convenient to tell a lie rather than speak the truth. Furthermore, this has only worsened their situation. According to Diana, Harry faced numerous difficulties from a young age, suggesting that many of his challenges were unaddressed or overlooked by others. The issues that emerged were exceptionally unsettling. Is Harry truly in such a state that he believed fabricating a family was a viable option? I imply that utilizing a substitution would not be particularly unfavorable, however misrepresenting the presence of children when there are none, well, that presents an entirely separate issue. I am uncertain about the truth, but I believe that inevitably, the truth will be revealed. Furthermore, surrogate-born children are unable to be included in the line of succession, perpetually leaving me pondering this crucial point, which undoubtedly reinforces an excellent rationale for this position. Isn't it peculiar how Megan, an individual who thoroughly enjoys discussing personal matters, has never shared any details about her pregnancy, labor, or delivery encounters? The sight of her alleged pregnant belly drastically sagging down to her knees raised concerns among virtually all viewers. Therefore, it is clear that Meghan and Harry's children will not have any opportunity to assume the throne. Being disqualified from the line of succession due to surrogacy does not pose any issue. Hiding or pretending to be pregnant is simply an unjustifiable motive. The photos alone fail to convince me of its authenticity. I possess pictures of myself during the time I was heavily pregnant, although my appearance may not explicitly depict that fact. Now, assuming Meghan actually had a baby, is it even conceivable that she wouldn't have been proudly parading on the hospital steps, eager to flaunt her new arrival? Given Meghan's inclination for attention-seeking, I highly doubt that either of those children were biologically hers. It is intriguing how silent Meghan has become about this subject, considering her tendency to extensively recount those two previous childbirth experiences. I highly doubt that she has ever shown enough curiosity toward someone else's pregnancy to gather the necessary knowledge to fabricate her own pregnancy and delivery. Okay, however, one valid reason to dismiss these rumors is worth considering. In summary, 
photos are the sole existing proof. The method of manipulating the vital records of both nations remains a mystery, as no one seems capable of clarifying the process, particularly considering the existence of authentic birth records. After modifications or approval, they can be obtained in the UK. There would be an extensive number of individuals involved in this. As previously mentioned, there is little justification for them to be untruthful, and although there is substantial evidence implying deception, there is no concrete proof of their dishonesty. In the introduction of his book, Harry boldly stated that the content reflected his personal recollection, and advised readers to simply accept it even if they disagreed. He speaks his own truth. If the foreword had been publicly available prior to the book's publication, my interest in it would have been non-existent. I believe the majority of individuals would not have done so. In light of Harry's revelation, it appears that he has been engaging in substance abuse such as drugs and alcohol for a considerable period of time, right? Does his brain even work? Can his memory be relied upon? Most likely not. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.